No, look, it's it's part of the challenges when we have multiple receiver groups. Um, obviously, we anticipate him getting more than just 12, and uh, you know a lot of it depends on how much of the game we're playing in nickel or on offense, the three receiver sets or base sets. So um, that can vary, but um, but I think you'll see. You know, you'll see his pitch count week to week, depending on the team we're playing, go up. Seattle did a lot of things defensively on Knicks. Would you imagine you expect the same thing against Pittsburgh? And how much does it? I don't know. I don't. You know, one game on the I, yeah. So I don't know that they did a lot of things. Meaning, I, I know you just said that. Um, look, certainly the experience each week. You know, you're going to have growth from a young player. What's the, what's the challenge going up against T.J. Watt, and how does he compare to maybe some of the guys who had the game plan against him for Yeah, he's, listen, he's, you know, I don't get into naming who the top defensive players are, but he's in that discussion. He's certainly uh, disruptive in the run game, um, disruptive in the pass game. Uh, each film you look at, you know, he's beaten doubles. He, he's he's very athletic. I think he's very strong, and he can bend, and those are all um, good traits to have. He's exceptionally smart. 